Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Out Loud Trading Room. My name is Anka Metcalf, and uh, today is Thursday. It is July 23rd, 2020. It is almost 9.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and let's get started. Economic releases for the day. We have at 10 o'clock the CB, uh, CB Lending Index, and at 10.30 we have the Natural Gas Storage. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, but don't forget the CB Lending Index is coming out at 10 o'clock, which represents a major reversal time for the market. So uh, right now, let's take a look at the market and see how we are uh, ready to open. We're having uh, the Dow, which is down barely 17 points, literally flat. Uh, and uh, we're having the mini S&P flat. Right now, just uh, two ticks up. Uh, we're having NASDAQ 50 points up, so um, a little bit of strength going into NASDAQ. Uh, Twitter reported earnings, uh, um, actually, and I, I saw Twitter still into uh, still trading into green territory, so that's, uh, that's impressive. Uh, and we do still have some earnings that are uh, to the upside right now, so we're going to take a look at NASDAQ. NASDAQ may become a little bit more interesting, but it's still into a very sideways range, and that is a really wide range. I'm going to show you the structure in just a little bit. Uh, and we're having Russell, which is down five points, but a little bit over five points. So definitely when we look at the market, we can see that it's flat. So we're basically trading within uh, yesterday's parameters. Uh, and uh, we're, we still have not, you know, reached some substantial support zones uh, uh, from, uh, you know, from yesterday or even from this week. Uh, gold uh, power trending, uh, as you can see, I am flat on gold. I closed the position and uh, still trying to power trend to the upside. And again, take a look at how it is trading. It's very, uh, it's trading in really, really wide, wide risk parameters. It is lining up from the hourly. So it's going to be very difficult to find a day trade still in gold. And I was hoping that over that break, and once it breaks over that 18, uh, 35 to 18.50. It's going to start lining up and it's going to come down, but it's not. It's still very chaotic. So the price action is still very volatile in gold. Uh, we're going to take a look at it for the swing portion of it as well to see if we can uh, find some opportunities to leg in, but uh, definitely today is not that day. Uh, and we have oil, which is uh, double top resistance. Uh, into the 42.50 zone, and it came a, a lower right now. So now we can see that we have a high here that was set the other day. Uh, we have a high 42.50, and we have a lower high here. So we're going to have to wait and see until the pattern resolves. Uh, obviously, if it's going to break into, break 49, uh, $41, it may want to pull back to the 200 SMA and then rotate higher. We're, we're going to have to wait and see. Today, the patterns are a little bit more on the complicated side than they were uh, yesterday. And yesterday was quite a difficult day because it was very much sideways. We had a first impulse into the 15 minutes and um, uh, beyond that, it was just very, very slow price action. Um, and that's dictated by uh, the market in general. So with that being said, let's uh, take a look at the structure of the market and let's see what our game plan is for today's trading session. We're going to begin with YM. So just give me a quick heads up if you guys can see this only this one chart. Just uh, wanted to make sure that the projector is on this chart where I'm moving my cursor. Okay, thank you. All right, so bottom line is that I would, I would have liked uh, the overnight trading session to stabilize between 26,900 and uh, 26,950. This would have um, uh, generated a really nice area for the price to start rotating higher. I do not dislike this area as well. It's a confluence area uh, into the 800. Uh, we still have not pivoted into this area, so we need the price to start rooting into this area. We still don't have any kind of confirmation, and that confirmation is probably going to come in 30 minutes or 40 minutes from now. Um, 
what I do see in this pattern is that after it hit the high, um, and that was um, uh, right here into the 925 area, uh, we did have a pullback in two stages, one, two, and we started to rotate off of this uh, 50 SMA. And once we regained the 50 SMA, 50 SMA became the common denominator. So we had a lift into the highs, very close to the prior highs. <clears throat> and then we had a pullback back here and then we lifted back again. Then we tried to power trend uh, in the overnight trading session. And that didn't work out. We had a red bar at eight o'clock and we're back into the 50 SMA. Now 50 SMA was the reaction zone back here in yesterday's afternoon trading session, <clears throat> actually at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, which is a very important trigger time for the market between two o'clock and 2.15. So this is exactly when it happened. So it reacted into this 50 SMA. And you can see that the price came very slowly to this 50 SMA, it's trying to get this lift here. I'm gonna actually watch the 30 minute reaction into this zone for, uh, for a clue. Because if we're gonna start trading after the open, so in about five minutes, if we're gonna start trading over uh, 26, 890, so 890 is going to be the trigger point, okay? <clears throat> so 890 will become the trigger point. So I'm going to create an alert for this, uh, for a possible high, okay? So for a possible long, obviously, <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, so we're going to be looking at this potential risk into the 800. We're going to look for a pop over 890 for a transition higher right off the open. And this is like in about four minutes from now. Um, targets, if this is going to become in play right here, we're going to look for targets. Target one, obviously, is going to be the first resistance area into the 920s. Um, and then we're going to start grinding higher into the 950s. Uh, nice areas right there, 960s, and then we're going to chop around to 27,000 if this is going to be the case. What happens if we don't hold 800? Well, if we don't hold 800, I'm going to go back to the hourly charts here. Uh, as you can see, if we don't hold the uh, this area, which I would love for it to hold because we would have the price in the pattern and we would assure the continuation for higher, but we may chop around this not, this is not going to necessarily be a short into this space, at least not now, at least not now. I need to see at least the one hour, uh, one hour candle close below 800, below this area in order to start, um, in order to start punching lower. Let me just remove this, um, okay. In order to start punching lower. Uh, there is a lot of messy price action to the left-hand side that is going to create, that is not going to create the velocity to the downside. So it's gonna literally, you know, be very choppy uh, and uh, uh, it's gonna get stuck into a different level. So it's not gonna have the velocity uh, to, to further move lower. Uh, we are a little bit expanded from, um, from a support zone, which is into the 500, which is into this area right here. This is another confluence area. So any pullback into this area may find support. So all this zone right here, it's nothing but a very thick band of support. So the price may get into this very choppy, ugly, messy support zone, and then it can have the power to bounce back up. Uh, so just a heads up on that. And this is the Dow, the m and &E &E and we're gonna go very quickly through the Yemeni S&P. You can see that it's back into the 50 SMA. It rotated, so it breached the 50 SMA and then rotated. So it's very important to wait for these rotations to happen. Uh, and uh, also the, uh, check out here, the four hour chart, as you can see, uh, the four hour chart here is sitting on the 10 exponential moving average, okay? So we're gonna look again for clues on the 30 minute. Okay, here, here are the clues that we're gonna look for on the 30 minute. Uh, and once again, uh, we're gonna wanna, wa we, we will wanna see the, we want to see the price over 3270 in this case. NASDAQ, which is stronger this morning, 
but again, it's still on the choppy side, and I want to show you exactly how choppy it is. We're trading in a range of uh, from 10,770 is area all the way to 10,934, which is a really wide range. I don't like anything in between. This could be you can have you can start having a trade within this space and then it's going to be very complicated to work it out uh russell so directional bias for today is neutral and we're going to have to wait for indications uh right off the open to see how it trades russell uh again very complicated pattern um today again it's not going to be easy um but we do have a lot of support into the 1480s uh, bottom line, we have support into 65.80, and then we have resistance into the 90 and uh, back very close to the 1500 zone. All right, let's get ready for the open. Everyone, I'm going to start projecting the screen. Uh, we're going to be very neutral on the trading session today, and we are going to have to wait for a trade to line up. Here's the open. Give me a quick heads up, guys. Let me know if you can see the uh, six charts right now. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Thanks so much. <clears throat> I don't have a favorite today, uh, Dan. <laughs> I know, I know. I love having a favorite uh, right off the open, but not today. I don't have anything for today. Wow, Home Depot, guys. <laughs> Home Depot is just blasting higher for us. Massive move. Massive, massive move. 267.80. So take some profits here. Walmart uh, developing a range. Okay, I'm looking for clues into our Dow stocks. Dow very strong, Walmart nice range, like I mentioned. Inside day for Boeing, inside day in the upper range for Disney. Disney looks like it wants to snap higher. Caterpillar, uh, very nice. <clears throat> Pfizer continues uh, higher. Nike pretty strong. Nike very strong. All right, here's the uh, uh, here's a little bit of release and pressure uh, in Nasdaq. Uh, take a look at divergency in Russell. So Russell coming in um, higher popping from the low. Again, we're forced to trade with divergence. Not the easiest thing to do.
Um, NASDAQ stocks are relatively flat. Apple within yesterday's range on the verge for a pullback for the 20th of May. Google is trying to set up but actually uh, wanting to do a daily rotation. NVIDIA flat. BABA inside day. Microsoft back to the 20th of May. I think Microsoft is going to find buyers that had earnings last night and it beat earnings and the stock was lower. So this may be a technical buying opportunity for it. A lot of releasing in NASDAQ. Lots and lots of releasing in NASDAQ right now. Uh, Twitter gapped up and gave immediately the profits from the overnight trading session that it came in. Bonds are moving higher. We do have a position in TLT. I was looking at bonds this morning and I, uh, because you know, I saw this mess in the market and I thought the bonds market is going to offer us something that would be more tradable. Uh, but I'm going to put the bonds here so I can show you what I was looking at. Uh, so the trigger point came right here into 180.25 if you wanted to trade something. So this was far along gone, um, triggered at eight o'clock. This is the eight o'clock bar right here that triggered. So Yeah, it's already expanded. Like I said, it triggered at eight o'clock. All right, um, Russell, very nice here. Very nice, Russell. Uh, Steve, any suggestion on Boyle? Is that a stock? Oh, okay. See, I never traded. Yeah, I never traded this. Uh, wow, no wonder I don't trade it. 85, yeah, Steve, no, 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 I wouldn't do it. 85,000 um, 85, uh, 85, shares traded. This is trouble. This is trouble. No, no, it's terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the daily here. Uh, in fact, we could do it later because uh, we gotta focus on these rotations, guys. But no, Steve, no, no, no. I mean, there are ETFs and ETFs, then there are, you know, stocks and stocks. But when you see, you have to see something that trades in order to have, you know, some velocity, you want to see it above 1 million shares traded. You're, it, it, you're going to get slipped. You're going to get, yeah. Oil is rotating as well. Okay, why well, I'm back down, just jittery, back and forth, back and forth. What time is it on 9.37? Why am, mm -mm, let's see. Why am nice pullback zone on the 15 minute right on the 20 SMA? Oh, right on the 200 SMA. I'm sorry about that. Here it is. So this, this is the bullish side right here. See, it's sitting on uh, overnight support in yesterday's highs right here. So not, not typically a shorting. Not shorty. Man, and Russell is just out of the gate. I hate it when we are having this divergency. It's just very unpleasant. Because you have to wait 
until you ha until you find the true direction. The one hour right now, the Dow, I love the structure sitting on the 50 SMA and uh, on the 200 SMA right here. I, I don't know. You know, I typically don't really buy off support here into the 800. If you would be using uh, four lots, four or six lots, then this would be a scale in opportunity here at 800, 815, 820. And then it would be an add over 860 or so. Yeah, 865. Or you could just wait for you know the trade to line up. Th these buys that are happening off support, they carry like a very small risk, but they have odds of stopping out uh, of more than 85% of the time. That's why I'm not a big fan of buying off support. I don't buy support. And I don't short resistance, unless there's a strong confirmation. Stocks are different. Stocks are different. You, you, you have a higher instance of working you know, better in a stock, but with futures, no, it's, it's a little bit more complex. And there are traders that are doing it and, you know, it, everybody's different. That's fine. Okay, so let's see, the Dow is messy here. Wow, the 15 minute NASDAQ left a huge tail. So the support is below 800 and the possible trigger. Oh, wow. That's, that's too big. It's not even forming right now. We also have a lot of chop from um, the New York session from yesterday. Okay, so NASDAQ is into resistance at 850. Can be a 15 minute rotation play here, but let's check out ES. See, ES and uh, the Dow, they're, they're a little better here in the sense of the structure. Uh, S&P 15, let's move to the 15 here. The five minutes total garbage. The 15 is pinched has pinched into a confluence area look at the confluence area here plus we have the 200 uh sma Put an alert here for Russell as well. Yeah, I I wouldn't necessarily trade a NQ right off the open right now. See, Russell already did, um, gonna put a level here. That is a 30 minute confluence rotation with trigger from support, from a prior support zone and it's advancing. Microsoft higher. Microsoft filling the gap, which was weird to see it lower. <laughs> it was weird. And such a great location for a buy here on the, uh, on the uh, 200 SMA. It's like really easy trade for day traders like really easy trade, day trade.
Myrna inside day. I'm going back and forth with Myrna. Like I said yesterday, Myrna can be like, again, um, wild card. $77 would be the stop in Myrna. But it's so volatile, you know, it's really hard to pin it with a hard stop. The price not sold yet. Just back and forth action. I'm going back and forth between the Dow, which I would prefer. I would prefer the Dow from the structure. I would very much prefer the Dow. Okay. We have a brand new 50 minute candle right now. I don't know. Uh, definitely the directional bias is long. Okay, I'm releasing the first trade, which is Dow Long 865 by 780, targets 880, 900, 910, and 920. They're posted in the trading room. So it's A65 by 780. And that would be in sync. Um, oil is ramping up a little bit from here. Okay, Google is going red to green, red to green. Baba firming up. So NASDAQ stocks are, have calibrated a little bit. Boeing coming in. Not good for um, the Dow here. Caterpillar as well. So we have some other powerhouses that are moving. So the money is shifting right now into Home Depot. Nike. Apparently Costco. Financials are not ramping up today. Okay, let's keep tabs of this um, trade here.
All right, had a print of uh, 849, 865 is our entry here. If it's going to pivot into the uh, 850 or 860 and turn around, things may get ugly. Um, looking at the bigger structure of the Dow, Dow needs to get in order to become bullish, it needs to get over 26,900. 900 is going to be 900 and 920, exactly where our last targets are between 900 and 920. That's going to be the high velocity zone today. In fact, it's 928. Yeah, it definitely needs to get above that resistance right here. If it gets over this, it's going to start climbing higher. Made a high of 854. We need 865. So we need to see the price really confirm that it's ready for a commitment to the upside. Twitter very bullish, Baba picking up. Microsoft screaming higher. Like I said, that's that was like a such an easy day trade. Okay, we made it to 62, our trigger is 65. <clears throat> 64. Wow, it's losing momentum right at the trigger. This is not such a great sign. If it's losing momentum in the next four minutes, we're gonna be canceling the trade. Okay, here we are, 65 triggered. We should have velocity to eight, uh, we should have velocity to 880, not 780, sorry about that. Target is 880. Oh, I did type it in. Okay, I thought I didn't have it typed in. We are about seven minutes away from first reversal time and the first economic release for uh, since the open.
If we get a pullback, if the stop is gonna hold, if we're getting a pullback midway, we may add to this trade. In any of these indices, if we're getting a uh, shallow pullbacks, could be at spot or initiate some other trades. Okay. Uh, Okay, you cannot see it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna ask you just a huge favor. Can you guys see the six charts? We have one member that, okay, thank you. So just refresh it. Yeah, log out, log back in. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. All right, the 15 minute rotated, still intact. Momentum just a little bit lower right now. We still have support into the 830. I'm looking for a spot to raise my stop and to add a little bit more to the trade if I can. Because I'm not sure it's gonna have that velocity to, um, to go really further, like a lot further. Uh, hey, Melina. Yes, we are in a trade uh, in the Dow Long at 865 by 780. And we have targets into 880, 900, 910, and 920. So, Melina, once again, it's 865. Yeah, like don't get in right now because we're looking for secondary entries. I mean, if you wish, you know, the trade is intact, but make sure you place your trigger at the same spot if you want to take it, 865. You have to wait for the same parameters because it needs to regain that 865 again. Yeah, sure. Let's put this on the 15 minute. Okay, Russell, very robust. Big wick in NASDAQ. NASDAQ is very volatile, guys. Russell, very nice structure. Even any pullback in Russell may be viable on a 15 minute thinking.
Very slow day so far. Just struggling. Why needs to see a print right now of um, H70. Uh, it has a very nice wick on the five, but it needs, uh, it, that is not gonna matter. It needs H70 to get further into that expansion. I like the fact that it is the top of the hour. So right now we need not only that uh, 870 that is going to propel us higher. Let me show you what I'm seeing right here. So we have the one hour, nice doji, right? But here's the problem with this doji. So it went up, it got resistance from a confluence area. We also have this resistance right here, okay? That literally influenced the stall of price action at this point. But now we're inside. So we need to hold the low of this one hour in order to start moving higher. So it's gonna be very slow and we are gonna to have to be very patient. And back to the 15 here. Very choppy day so far. It's pretty much a repetition of what we had yesterday. Very, very choppy. Dow stocks are taking a break right now. So we're holding pretty well. We're getting this grind on the two minute, which is not bad. It confirms that the price wants to go higher. See this um, harmonic effect here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We just need the expansion back over 65 because we triggered and then we came back in. Yeah, we're having the same uh, And put it on the two minute. All right, let's expand back to the five here.
Just a lot of chop around today. They're taking a lot of traders out. I hope so, T2. See, that's why I'm saying you cannot trade this market. That's why you have to position size because you cannot trade this market with tight stops. It's way too volatile. Okay, so now YM uh, is going to need a print of 56. Okay, if it's, if it's printing a 56, we're going to go back to 60 and then we're going to need that 67. I don't like the divergency in NASDAQ, NASDAQ coming in. Uh, we have so much chop into the market today. Uh, here's NASDAQ reversing. Russell screaming higher. Sideways, the Dow and the m and S&P. Oil trying to climb higher. It's back into resistance here, 4180. Wow, look at these candles. They're they're like slow mo this is like slow motion trading. <laughs> like put it on repeat, you know.
Wow. Take a look at this shop. If I wasn't in this trade, I wouldn't consider taking a trade today. It's not a good environment. Hey, Ivar. Wow, stay safe. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of the week. Are you going to be there for the uh, for the weekend? Awesome. Well, enjoy your time. Have a wonderful time in Switzerland. Okay, I'll see you next week. Okay, awesome. Have a great time there and have a safe flight. Yeah, I'm planning, uh, Dan, yeah, my stop is hard. Like I've been going back and forth. We're going to use a hard stop because if it trades below this zone, I think it may go lower. Okay, it may go lower. So keep the hard stop, guys. 780. 780 is this uh 780 is the hard stop. I hate putting a hard stop, but see, and I have this support here. <sighs> 780 to a hard stop, hard stop. Feel like giving it a little bit more room right now. See, because it's bouncing off of that zone. I gotta think fast. No, keep the heart stop. Keep the heart stop. Whatever it is, keep the heart stop. 81. We're holding by the end. Done. Wow, look at that. It went from 80 to 72. Did you guys get slipped? That's like major slippage right there. The way they took everything out. Wow. Okay, so first trade that stopped. One trade stopped. Like I said, you know, when when it started to trade below uh, below eight eight three zero right here into this spot, I'm like, this doesn't look good, and we're having this heavy divergency. I don't trade divergency. I don't like. It's not that I don't like to trade it. You trade it with very low odds. Let's see if this was a clearing of the stops here. Yeah, Keith, I'm telling you. Yep, I think everybody got slipped. It missed, like literally my platform, like went from 80 to 72 like this. Like it didn't go point by point, it, it just went there.
let the market reshuffle. We're 15 minutes away from trigger time. It's still trying to hold in that spot, which is interesting. Be ready, don't leave, don't leave, don't go anywhere. You may have another trade. Okay, here's my concern. Um, we have breached the 10 a.m. low. Look at the divergency in uh, NASDAQ and the Dow and into the M and the S&P. So we all breached the 10 a.m. low. Look where the 10 a.m. low is in Russell, right here. Look at where the new pivot is. So we have a high, we have a higher high. Okay, and then we have a low here, and then we have a lower low. We have a low and a lower low in S&P and a low and lower low in NASDAQ, and we have the 10 a.m. low right here. I don't know if this was a flush and if the price is ready to go back up or what the case may be. Like NVIDIA, I see NVIDIA really strengthening up, BABA as well. Yes, Neil, exactly. We saw the bounce that came later on. Wyme is really trying to, uh, to hold. See this dotted line right here? Here's the problem. I didn't want to give it a soft stop here because my next support level is really way down here. We'll see. Um, I don't know. The next, the next 15 minutes are going to be decisive for price. I think so too, Aaron. I think so too. We need to hold this spot right here. We have a lot of support in this zone. First all from, from the 15 minute, 200 SMA. Then we have the prior low. This is a confluence area, so it's a multi time frame dimensional support. And we do have the one hour 50 SMA right here. And notice that today we don't have any purple lines on our charts. This is, the purple lines are really above for confirmation for higher. And we're going lower, see? Hmm. But it's not a short. So there are trades that are worth saving and trades that are worth cutting. And this was to me a worth cutting. Mike as well, yeah. I'm seeing the same things, Mike. Let's just wait for now. 
wait until uh, we have another opportunity. Don't forget that 1030, it's prime time trigger time. Okay, and so far, let's take a look at the price action. So we had a pullback into the 945, right? 945, we had a lift almost into 10 o'clock and at 10 o'clock reversal time, right? So it was pretty textbook. We had the open pullback 945, went back up to 10 o'clock reversal, right? Let's see if we are going to get a bounce into 10, uh, into 1030. We have about 10 minutes. We're, we're actually into that spot. Exactly, happy trader. Well said. Let's see here, five minutes. The risk to reward ratio is just terrible. No. See if they're done here. Wow, what a what a messy day today. Like nothing to talk about here into this price section. I'm seeing some stocks that are really hmm. moving. Um, Mike, here's what I'm seeing. Okay, so we're testing support, but look at this confluence area right here, because I was looking at the same thing at the 800 and it may be bearish. However, we're having a confluence support here. So this, we have about three or four elements of support into this, uh, into this area. And for me to be short, I need to see the price test these areas and then pull back on the retest and take it short. Because for me, for me, at this spot right here, um, would be very difficult. This, this to me would, this to me is a bounce zone rather than a short has tons of support right here. And that's because it's into a very strong structure. So we have low, we have a massive higher low right here and we're forming a higher low right here. And it, since the pattern is still holding, I don't see it short. We have a 200 SMA right here, which is going to create a lot of support for price and we may get that lift into this spot, into this spot. Here it is. 
zoomed in. It's only normal that, you know, and let's do some fibs here. Ivar, I don't know if you're still here or if you left, but Ivar is doing the fib work for us here. Um, see, this would, I, I would be a buyer right here. I would not short it. Hey, Thomas, busy day. I'll see you tomorrow. See how it's bouncing off of this spot? And back up. <clears throat> oh, five minute rotations we just missed. But see what I mean? Um, yeah, see what I mean, um, Mike? That's why they're bouncing. They still have struct massive structural support here. Alex, did you receive the position sizing video? You do have it. Okay, it's not about the number of contracts. It's about the same amount. Yeah, it's about the same amount that you risked the first time. You have to use the same risk on every trade. Okay, let's uh, focus here on the 15 minute. We have three more minutes since we missed this five minute here. I'm telling you guys, Russell is very strong, but I, let's see. I don't really have an entry in it. Yeah, that five minute was very good to enter. Anyone entered on the five minute rotation? The target for that move was 780. It's right there, very close to that 780. You did? Awesome. Oh my gosh, Brad, that's awesome. Yeah. Totally missed it. Let me know if you guys need any help with that. Mini bear. Good job. We have two more minutes to a possible trigger. It's gonna happen super fast, guys. So be ready. I may not have time to post it in the room to type it in the room because I want to take the trade as well. Um, we're going to have to repeat. See, now the structure. I like Russell a lot. And by the way, GC has a one hour trigger right here into 1881 and the stop uh, is 1867. You're gonna go for a first target in very close to 1890 if that's what you want. I don't really wanna trade gold anymore um, today. <sighs> 30 seconds. The entry might be 790 and the stop 
As of right now, the entry in Dow is 790 and the stop 715. So it's 790 long YM. Here it is. It triggered. 790. I'm going to post it in the room as well by 715. Okay. We're going to go for a first target, which is going to be a little tough to break. We need to break, we need to break, first of all, we need to break 800. Uh, and the first target is going to be a 10. And then we're going to go for a 20. And then from that spot, it's gonna be a trailing. We're gonna we're gonna trail. Congrats for those of you guys that took that five minute rotation. I was messing up with Nasdaq chart. Don't do what I do, what I just did when you're trading. Don't do it. Don't toggle charts. Russell is very strong. Russell can be a trade anywhere in this spot, 95, 96. Boy, it had like a two minute, the, the two minute and the five minute were really good, but it came re, they came really, really fast. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with uh, with the Dow here. Any of these trades, same concept. Any of these trades, same concept. I'm a little concerned because, um, see, we. The first trade that we took was a 15 minute rotation off a really hefty support zone in the Dow and that failed. So I'm really concerned about this, uh, this trade. So as soon as it gets into um, 800 and if it gets into the 800 and it definitely needs to get over 820. So when it gets into the 820, we're gonna lock and break even on the trade. Okay, so we don't lose because this had a pattern that failed already, see? So this was us and then it failed and this is us again. Right now it's trading into the 10 EMA on the New York trading session charts. Uh, are you in Craig in YM or yes? In YM. Okay, so one has a hard stop at 715. One has a hard stop at 715. 
We need to see it over 800 and order 800 to 820. Those are going to be the two resistance points that the price needs need to break above in order to have the continuation higher. Come on. We are trading right now in that powerful um, prime time trigger time. <clears throat> wow, look who woke up, just NASDAQ. NASDAQ just woke up. Man, and I love Russell, but I'm telling you, if you want to take Russell, Russell is going to have to be like a scale in type of thing and run with that little scale in. And the stock needs to be under 88 or so. Okay, let's let's just let it trade. And Craig, yes, and YM, they're both on the same boat. Uh, see, the more velocity, uh, the, the price had more velocity in NASDAQ because, like I said, NASDAQ, because it had a sharper uh, drop than the rest, left this really nice squeeze here. But both NASDAQ, uh, both uh, the S&P and um, uh, the Dow, see, they don't have a lot of space to run, so they need a lot of momentum in order to start going. Uh, and by the way, this is the second lower high of the New York trading session. Second lower high of the New York trading session on a two minute structure. If it's going to uh, lift over 800, the structure is going to change and the price is going to go back up. But if it's not, I don't know if it's going to work out. So higher time frames are dictating higher. Here we go back into break even. Like it's just playing with us today. So like I said, if you guys you know, are thinking, I don't know, let me see if I want to do it. It's into a lot of resistance here and I, no, I'm not going to do it, but I really love. Exactly, Craig. So did that answer your question? And don't forget, Craig, we have a brand new class starting Monday. See you there if you have the time. We're gonna send out all the all the details on Friday. I think there was another email that was already sent out, but all the details are gonna be sent out on Friday for the class. Man, I really like Russell. I'm gonna take some Russell here at 96. Let's let's do Russell here at 96. Very small size, very small, half the size. Russell, long at 96. Here it go. It, it trigger already. The stop is gonna be under 88, so 14.88 for the stop.
Uh, let's see for a target into 1500. Yeah, Brad, I'm still in TLT, like full, full size. I haven't eased out of it. I like it. Okay, so now we have Russell. If there's one index that is going to go higher, Russell has the best odds of getting into that 1500. Not an easy day. There we go. Get the lift. Finally, 820 in the Dow. <sighs> <laughs> 820 in the Dow. I'm still in. We need to get over 820. Once we get over this 820, and then we're having this. Ah, we still have 20 minutes left. Let's see the 15 minute. Okay, we're into resistance. We need to knock this resistance out. We need to knock it out. And then we have space to 850, okay? The next target that we're gonna look for is 850. Okay, 850, which is right here. Okay, hey, Anne-Marie, what are your parameters in gold? Um, Okay, here's the target for it. And then the next one is 1900. 18, you got in at 18, what? Oh, hey, John, yeah. Seventy four target ninety four. Well, you have a target right here into nineties, right here. And see how we went here and then it's pulling back. It's just gonna be um like I said, I'm not a big fan for the day trading portion of it. Here's your resistance for resistance into the nineties. Yeah, and then you have yeah, and then you have ninety to ninety one resistance let me say something else here uh the next target let's check it out Yeah, there's another target into the 93 to 94. It's actually, yeah, 90, yeah, 93. So you may see some profit. And that's why you, you may see a little bit of a pullback here. Uh, and then you have 1900, very close to 1900. It's actually 1899.9. So 1900, that's where I think some scale out is going to happen. And then you have another target. So beyond that 94 of yours, um, you have the 1900 and then 1910. Okay, 1900 and 1910. It has a very nice one hour, very nice one hour. Yeah, very nice. The one hour is very nice here. The pullback buy, very nice. Check the 30 minute. Yeah, 30 minute was nice. Very nice. Oh, nice, Ann. Nice, very nice. 
Yeah, caution here into the 1891. Okay, caution, caution. In the meantime, I'm literally falling asleep here. <laughs> Come on, price action. We need to see the price pinch over, and actually we need to see a print of 823, uh, 823, 823 is what we need. Mike, yeah, I'm uh, I'm at 96. I got it at 96, Russell, 1496. Let's look for that 1500. Oh, come on, price action. See, I don't like these uh, these rotations that are happening right here. I don't because this creates a lot of weakness to the pattern. See, they're coming from a slope and then the mirror trading session makes a high, a low, and then uh, this potentially can be a lower high right here. So this is not good. The price needs to pop immediately over that 23 right now, immediately. So see, we spotted immediately those two pressure zones into A10 and A20. I'm telling you, if it trades over 823, it's we're gonna see 850. And then 860. See, this is a nice grind here. We have space to 1500, we have space above. So we're gonna go in segments, then we're gonna have 1510 here. So that could be the next possible target. If we maintain the strength, we could have 1810. Okay, so Mike, we could have 1810 if we break over 15. Okay, and then we're gonna go, 1520. So we have some, it, it's going to open the doors for some very nice voids. And this is going to be all ultimate target right here. 1535. 1535. We need to see a print of 99, 1499 right now for Russell, and we need that eight, uh, 723, uh, eight, I'm sorry, 823 for the Dow. Okay, look at the S&P is going. Come on, Dow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, we have the print of 99 and Russell, which is good. I'm glad we got in aggressively, Russell. And by the way, we missed the optimum entry because I totally missed the five minute. I was messing around with the NASDAQ chart.
telling you this Dow is going to be a big issue here with it. Come on, Dow, you can do it. Okay, 10 points above our entry right now. There was a, a really severe change in structure today in all of these indices. You see what they did, the, the, those crashes? You know, they, they just took the stops out. Okay, we are, we are one tick from target one in Russell at 1500. There we go, target one in Russell achieved. Come on, Dow, you need to print an 823. We need to see an 823 print. We kind of took Russell on the fly here. Um, We're still holding support. Target to a Russell is 1510. We have 1510 and 1520. Uh, it's going to be a lot to ask, so I, I would like to see it over 1503, and then we're going to raise the stop to 15, uh, 1500. That's what I'm looking for right now. I don't like these pullbacks that are happening right now in the market. Do not like, and I do not like the structure and the Dow one bit, one bit. Oh, here we go again. Okay, we have one more minute until uh, 10.55 and about five minutes to the top of the hour and we're lining up with the doji. So far, I hope we're gonna get a doji, a decision doji on Russell so then we can have some signs of trailing into it. Um, what I'm thinking right now, cause we got in at 14.96, I'm thinking with a stop at break even in Russell,
I really don't want to get dinked out of the trade, but today it's, it's really, really choppy. So I don't want to do any more damage. And that's why I'm thinking Russell at break even. In the meantime, uh, uh, the Dow, no changes. That's the entry, that's the stop period. If we get a punch through 1500 right now, we're gonna raise the stop and Russell to break even. And we're gonna wait then for that 1503, if that's gonna to happen to bring the stop to 1500 in that case. Yeah, price is not going anywhere today. Shop land. Taking one step forward and five steps back. Yeah, that five minute with key in the Dow. Darn, missed it. And it happened into that 10 o'clock time frame right here, the, uh, the 1020 time frame, 1020 to 1030. Nice move. Here are my thoughts and Russell. Let's keep the stop at break even right now. So we have risk zero on it. Because, because in case the market decides to turn around, I don't want to have a loss in it. See, here's the problem with this market. You never know when you're going to have a really power trend and when you're going to have a slop like this. So that's why taking profits into targets is the best thing for, for your account and for your sanity. Because you could take profits, like I said, at 1500, take half off, then raise the stop to break even. At least you made something, right? At least you made something. Or if you're just trading with, let's say, only one contract, then your stop is break even. So you cannot do any damage to your account. Uh, the Dow, ooh, not liking what it's doing right now. And right now, Russell needs to straighten up and print that $14.99 again in order to start climbing higher. If not, it's going to be under the influence of the five-minute candle, which uh, signals a danger zone at $14.97. So $14.97 is current support for Russell. I still have my stop and break even, just giving it a little bit of room. Hey, Robert. Yeah, if you want to put the stop at 97 versus 96, that's fine. It covers some commissions. I have, no, no, I have mine at 90, 96, 1496. My entry is my stop right now. Twitter up there in the sky, Microsoft giving back some profits, Baba just uh, going uh, rotation back up, NVIDIA uh, inside day, Google inside day a little bit weaker, Apple is pulling back, uh, Facebook is very sideways, uh, the VIX are still holding the 200 SMA, they're a little bit into the green right now. And uh, the Dow stocks are relatively sideways. They're, they're literally sideways. They're not moving um, in any direction. We have uh, financials that are sideways. 
Boeing that is sideways, Disney sideways, uh, Walmart inside the range, and in fact, it's very strong range into the highs, though it's a bit expanded from support. It's trading right now at 132, and support is at 126, 127. Uh, Home Depot popped up with the gap up, uh, printed that 267.80, and right now pulling back a little bit. So trying to calibrate. And if you're swing trading with us, we have we call the swing trade in um, uh, an EFX, and it just hit the 180 zone, and from here it can expand to 184. Huge winner for us. So I see you have, you know. You have ups and downs in, um, okay. You guys have got washed out in Russell. You guys still in Russell? It pinched into that 96. I'm out. Just FYI. Okay, so EFX, huge winner for us, guys. <laughs> huge. Yeah, I'm not in, uh, no, Dan, I'm not in Russell. I just trail, it, it took me out like literally, take a look, like literally at break even. No, I, I'm just in with, uh, with YM, but I did scale out half at 1500. On a day like today, I like to scale out. So don't forget guys, this is my preferred method. You could do whatever you want. But I like to scale out into targets. Sometimes I don't when I'm seeing like massive follow through, then I carry out the whole, uh, I carry out the whole position. Home Depot wants to get started again. And that is over 267.05, 267.05. That would be a 15 minute rotation. For those of you that are day trading, that's also um, a good, good spot. Costco is sideways. Damn, yeah, Costco is sideways right now. Yeah, Roku just printed that 158 earlier. I got my alert. Beautiful.
come on market just it's just not doing anything these indices are really painful today the stocks are just like amazing and the indices are garbage today light has achieved all the targets just now Still in, I'm still watching the five minutes to see if we have anything that we can work this trade out to make it profitable here. Yes, it's a hard stop, Rakesh. Yes, Steve Wright, yes, hard stop, hard stop. We're not gonna play today with soft stocks because it does, the market structure does not support that. And take a look what happened here. If there was anybody still in, and if there was anybody that still wanted, to, <laughs> still wanted to put that hard stop at 96, guess what happened? It took it to 95.70. Unbelievable. So they took everybody out <laughs> right here. They're washing. But I'm telling you guys, the stocks, and I'm telling you, like, if you do have a trading account and uh, stocks are, have been unbelievable this year, unbelievable this year. Very wishy-washy price. Take a look at this. Wow. Uh, hey, Shay. You got stopped out from Russell? Or what? Both? You got, how, how, how could you get stopped out? So number one, Shay, Russell is a break-even trade. Number two, oh, you brought YM to break even. Gotcha. Okay. And because I was gonna say, like the Dow never never tapped into the stop. Yeah. Uh Shay, I'm not really sure that we're gonna get some other trades today. But quick action, I like that reaction for what you did with the, uh, with the doubt. I have my stop at 715. Let's see about 15 minutes here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just garbage. It's, it's just garbage. It's not going anywhere. It's just up and down with no directional bias. And what Russell did here, very sneaky. I bet you a lot of traders that, you know, once they had this rotation, when they saw it the second time around in 1500s, like, oh yeah, I have the confidence right now. I'm putting the stop at break even. And again, it took it lower by three ticks. It took it lower by three ticks. Unbelievable. They're shaking the tree. They're shaking the tree. <laughs> Five minute rotation and play. I'm telling you, when these things are happening, they're so super fast.
It would be 775 by seven, uh, same stop, same stop, 715, 775. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it right now. Rakesh, you got that right. No algo action. No algo action. Just hold on tight, guys. Hold on tight. I don't like the fact that oil is turning around. Yes, Brad, 7.15 is the stop. 7.15 is the stop. See, I like this five minute here, but it's coming right into this uh, pivot point and also this uh, 10 EMA. Oh, look who's waking up. Neo is waking up. Good job, Neo. We still need to see it into 38. Still has not uh, given us the, uh, the target one, but it's trading above our entry. Hey, Francis, good timing though. <laughs> Uh, we had one loser in YM. We had a break-even trader, Russell, and we initiated the Dow again for a long, uh, which wasn't a seven, uh, 790. And we're still looking, uh, man, Russell. And, and um, I don't think this is a good day, Francis, honestly. If you didn't take a trade today, just don't. Maybe later, and I'm going to put it on the private feed. If I see a trade for later on today, I'll let you guys know on the private feed. It's really painful to watch that we're getting that five minute and is not even cooperating into the Dow. So Dow becomes really weak right now, really weak. It's the weakest index right now. In fact, it's the only one that is down 0.44%. I would like to take this 15 minute, five minute rotation here at 75. The stop, stop is still at 15, but it's so aggressive. See, if I didn't have a trade and if I didn't lose on my first trade, I would have totally added here. Twenty six. Uh, let's do it. Seven seventy five. Add to the trade. Add spot seven seventy five. Uh, Why am add seven seventy five? Okay, here it is. Same stop. Hard stop. Okay. Okay. All right. All set. We're looking for a target into 800. Okay, so my average right now for this trade is 783. Seven eighty three is the average for the Dow. What is your average, guys? I mean, you guys added on that five minute that I didn't.
Good job, Brad. Awesome. All right, now you know the technical term, fingers crossed. Uh, the entry, Robert, yeah, the entry in Russell I missed. I was toggling along, you know, explaining the NASDAQ chart why this is a buy and not a short. And um, we missed these five minute rotations. We, we could have been, we could have been at break even and, you know, not only at break even, but we could have been up in the trade a little bit. So we missed this one as well. Russell was really good. Realistically, uh, realistic targets for the Dow here, um, 800, so I'm gonna repost the targets again. We may go with uh, this trade beyond um, 12 o'clock. So the targets are gonna be 800, we have 810, we have 820, Eight thirty. That's yeah. That's a bit messy. Uh, we have eight fifty for the target. We have eight sixty, and we have eight sixty eight. Then we have eight eighty. These are the targets if we start moving up. Yeah. ES is just like, ES is a bit stronger, obviously, than the Dow, uh, because you could see that every time when it came into a support zone and bounced hard and it bounced here. But look at the, uh, I mean, you could see the volatility from this week because it had support, it stopped on support and then swooshed down before it moved higher. So these are the dangerous wicks for, uh, for today. Um, let's see what we have here for two. Okay, so we have President Trump speaking today at 5 p.m. and I think it's the Coronavirus Task, task Force. And uh, tomorrow we have the Flash Manufacturing PMI and the Flash Services PMI that are coming uh, both at 9.45 and new home sales at 10 o'clock.
Okay, we're getting an uptick here. Come on. <laughs> See, some days are really, f I love the fast paced days. Yeah, happy traders just, um, it's not a follow through day. And that's because we came in and we're sitting on support and the price is trying to determine whether to start falling or bounce. So it's into a decision zone. That's why it's not going anywhere. Substantial support everywhere. So yeah, tomorrow we have some data, but don't forget next week we have the FOMC meeting minutes. Uh, a meeting, sorry. We have the FOMC meeting. Uh, and that's Wednesday at 2 p.m. We have the press conference at 2.30. That's the biggest uh, announcement for the whole entire week. That's the stop right there, the 7.15. And that's the final stop. We have a little five minute double bottom right there. I'm telling you, if we start climbing a little bit higher over 800, we have a very strong chance of getting over that 813. So if we get the price into 800, 813 is not gonna be an area of concern. And in fact, I see it break over 813, continue to 820 and 850 to 868. Those are our, those are uh, the targets that we're going to be looking for. <clears throat> Very sloppy market yesterday and today, guys. Very sloppy. Okay, so um, let's see here. Anne Marie, you got your, uh, it, it's trading above 90s, and you can see what's happening here. There's another target where you have it into the between, it's actually a resistance point, it's a confluence zone. Uh, into the 93, 95 area, very close to your 94, okay? Uh, <clears throat> if you wanna keep it for further higher, you wanna keep it as a swing or a day trade? Swing or day trade? Okay, day trade.
Ideally, you want to see it over 92 to lock in 90. Okay, M, you want to see M or you want to see it over 90, over 92. So any print over 92 and just trail 90. It's getting a bubble of air between 90 and the 10 EMA. And notice last time when it had that bubble of air, um, it expanded higher, it had the bubble of air, and the price came back to the 10 EMA. So I don't want that to happen to you, okay? So once you see the print over 92, in fact, right now you could actually tra trail 18, 9, 1889, okay? That puts you well in the money. Okay, we need to see that 800 print. Wow, this is so slow. Come on, market. Okay, now you can move it, um, Anne, Anne Marie. Now you can move it to that 290, or if you want to leave it into that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Steve. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, market. Come on, we need to see that print. We, we are literally nine points away from 800. We had a high of 791. Inching away. One tick away from 800. 
Anne Marie, you're rocking it. <laughs> Here's your 94. Now I would like you to trail 92. Just chunk it in. Okay, trail 92. Come on, 801, target one achieved. Yes. Great. I would lock in 92 uh, if you're trading just the day trading portion of it on a day like today. And by the way, guys, Russell is doing a bull flag formation right here. Not going to chase it anymore because basically when, uh, when we got in, we were just chasing it. Fifteen minute rotated as well. We need to get it well over this eight ten area. Come on, just print it in eight ten. Look who has velocity right now compared to Nasdaq. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Oh goodness. <laughs> One tick away from eight twenty. Our target zone. Eight twenty five. We need to see it into eight thirty. Uh, the same mini bear, uh, it has a tradable void to 1510. 1510 and 15, uh, 1520 actually. 1510, 1511, see this area right here, and then it has to 1520.
Oh, come on. I'm like, I'm going to live through this. I'm telling you guys, I'm living through this. We need to knock this 20 out completely. We need to knock it out and uh, start going towards the 50s. Oh, come on, market. It has a structure that is capable of running over that uh, 820, guys. That's why I'm still hanging on. trying to root into that 800 zone. Come on. Wow, gold is just just on a rampage here. Okay, not that 25. Come on, please, Dow, just do it. Dow needs to get now over 25 to expand to 50. <laughs> Come on, it just printed at 15. Printed at 30. There it is. There it is. Target three achieved. Target three achieved. Futures alert, futures alert, target three achieved. Awesome. Come on. I know it's a tough area, but you can do it. It's a very tough area. No, no, no. Don't look back. Do not look back. There's no looking back. There's no looking back. Thank you. 
back into that 800. Unbelievable. There's no participation, guys. It's just no participation. Awesome, T2. Great. Little green is fantastic. Little green is fantastic. We have about four minutes into um, 11.45. And I would like the green to expand. And we need to have a close into the 8.15 or 8.20 to make this a worth keeping type of trade for the afternoon. Uh, notice that NASDAQ is not participating in any way, shape or form but we got a little pop into ES. We had our little pop in, uh, in the Dow. And I am telling you, Russell, power, power trending right now. Okay, Anne-Marie, your uh, protect 1894, protect your 1894 in gold. Okay, price is doing okay. We have two, uh, in fact, we have about two minutes left. Three minutes, two minutes, two and a half minutes. Come on, you could do it. <laughs> it's funny that the next target lines up. Take a look at this. Okay, so we have target into 850. Okay, so we have a target into 850. We have target into 860. Here it is, punch over uh, 830 again. Um, and then we have 868. And I find it hilarious that this 868, look where 868 is right into resistance and guess what that area is our break even for the day <laughs> our break even for the day There's a really heavy grind. I don't have a trail stop just yet. Yeah, so Anne-Marie, that 18, uh, 1894 should be your stop. That's it. It's getting very expanded from the 10 EMA and also from support here into 91. And uh, honestly, if it's going to trade below uh, 94, it's going to get back into 90 going to get back into 90.
I want McDonald's to push through 200. And if McDonald's is going to get through 200, we're going to see some more velocity. And we need a 179 print and Boeing in order to have velocity in the Dow. What a long day, guys. I don't like to work this long. <laughs> like to be under pressure for <laughs> so long. All right, what time is it? 11.46. We need to hold the 800 and then if we start popping above uh, 840, we may enter into a little bit of velocity zone uh, to the upside, but that's not setting up just yet. Uh, 800 is still the spot, 790. The more we close this 15 minute bar above that 200 SMA and that prior support zone, the more we're gonna be bullish. And the more we have thoughts of rotating higher. Anne Marie, you're down for the day. Congratulations, you had a fantastic day. Great job on gold, on Goldilocks. Great, great job. Come on, break through 30. Wow, oil is uh, moving higher and uh, the S&P is not really moving that much. We need the price over 36 right now. Fingers crossed. We got it to 33. We needed three points above 33, 36 in order to start the ascension towards 850. Slow, but hey, we're getting there. Here we have it, 836. Come on, we can do it. We can do it, come on. 10 more minutes into the top of the hour. Come on, giddy up, giddy up. Now the price needs to stay above that 8.30. We need to, there's a huge resistance point right here into the 8.30, huge, like ginormous. Like, if I wasn't still underwater on this trade, like I need like 30, 30 more points from where we are right now to get into the break even zone for today. Um, I, I would have taken my money and ran. I would have been done. Okay, I would have been done. But I, I love the price action since 1130. I love the price action since 1130. It's very conducive for a continuation higher. 
notice that the Dow is the only index literally that is moving right now. We have S&P, which is garbage, NASDAQ that it's weak right now. And the only power through that we can have is into the Dow. That's it. Okay, that's it. And it has a very messy support level into 800 that I'm monitoring right now for a possible trail stop. So I'm looking at that 800 because I, we got to be very proactive here because we don't know if the price is ready to commit over that 830. Like I said, in either the 36, we got our 36, but the price needed to stay above the 36 and it's not staying. So we need to see a close, a five minute close above 36. Okay, and we have about four minutes for this to happen, four minutes right now. Uh-oh, problem with NASDAQ, problem divergence, heavy divergence coming into NASDAQ right now. And Dow still pumping up. Come on, we need to see a close above 30. 34 would be fantastic if we see a close if we see a close at 34, 35, well, 36 would be really encouraging for the Dow higher. Uh, within the next two minutes. One and a half minute, make it one and a half minute. See, now, now, I'm, um, now I'm looking at this 800 zone for a potential trail. Russell pulling back. This is not good because it's going to create weakness all around. Come on, Dow. You could do the heavy lifting. Apple, red on the day. Google, red on the day. Baba still green. Microsoft inverse hammer, but it's on the 20 SMA. XLF sideways, no movement into financials, no movement. Boeing strong, guys. Boeing strong. As long as Boeing strong, we have a chance. Yeah, we finally got it over 179 and it shot up a little bit here. So let's focus on why and we're holding by a thread guys, holding literally by a thread. Two seconds to uh, the candle that I mentioned and we still didn't have that close. Now we need another five, we need to live through another five minutes. And we need to see the price over 34, and 38 right now, 34 and 38 is what we need. Home Depot back into the highs, UNH back into the highs. Caterpillar sideways, but it's positioned for higher. Intel, nice doji on the day. Cisco, beautiful Cisco, beautiful Cisco. We have a position in Cisco, it's beautiful. 
Beautiful. I'm looking uh, at Cisco for more longer term. Nike, incredibly strong. Let's see if we get Boeing over 180. And by the way, Boeing is going to need to, uh, it has three stages. Boeing has three stages. Stage number one, if today Boeing is going to get over 183.50, it's going to start screaming higher to 189. And if it gets over 190, actually, boom, it's going to go to 200. So it's going to move in two to three stages right now. Okie dokie, what do we have here? Come on, we have four minutes and we need to close above 34. What are we doing? What are we doing? The trail stopped, still hanging in the limbo there. Right now it's an assumed stop. It's kind of like an emergency managed control stop at 800 because the real stop would have to be into 780. <clears throat> I'm not doing that. We're gonna kill it at 800, guys. Trail 800 into YM. There's weakness, we're getting into the doldrums. In fact, we are into the doldrum period. We have three minutes right now, two and a half minutes actually, two and a half minutes and we need to close. We're really expanding lower, but we need to close into 34. And if we're not gonna close into 34, okay, we're out, done, we're out. So we made what, 25, uh, 25 uh, points into YM, it's fine. Not bad. We recuperated some of the loss from this morning. Everything is in a limbo here. Okay, we're gonna do the wrap up for today. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna tell you what I can expect for the afternoon trading session. Very choppy guys. This is the first losing day this month and it's a very small loss. Okay, let me get this on the one hour. Okay, so from the structure that we have in the indices, definitely Russell has relative strength. We mentioned it right from the beginning. We did really have a good location to get into the trade. I pretty much chased it when I had the entry. That's why I kept the stop and break even when, uh, when I had the opportunity because I really didn't want to. Uh, oh my goodness, look at the Dow now. <sighs> <laughs> so annoyed. Okay, let's see if we could take it again. I'm sure. Maybe mini scalps on NASDAQ. Um, not on NASDAQ, I'm sorry. Mini scalps on the Dow. We're going to revisit it later. Okay, we're going to take it back to, back to the five minutes. What I don't like about the pattern is that we have one relative strength, Russell. We have uh, the Dow that is starting to be bullish because of its components. Uh, the m and &E S&P is flat, financials are flat. The only thing that is contributing is oil that is rushing a little bit higher. And uh, NASDAQ is back into massive support, okay? And this is, the, the, this is basically the support from where we bounced here. But then we have resistance in the core of this range, which was into the, uh, uh, which was into the 850, plus we had some relative weakness into some NASDAQ names that punched it lower. Um, for the afternoon trading session, I'm gonna give you some ideas. If the S&P is gonna start trading above 71, it's gonna have a wide stop uh, into 56, but it may continue higher. Uh, YM is actually, would be the best candidate, but YM needs, guess what? 
needs that 838 that we spoke about and we never had that 838 into the top of the hour okay uh but needs 838 and flush down because a lot of traders are you know th this this is doldrum right now this is doldrum period you don't know if you're going to get a swish back to the downside or you know it, it's just too very choppy and the fact that we have nasdaq testing support back here this is not very encouraging for any kind of long position regardless of how strong it is okay um so russell strong uh we have uh dym that is following uh in strength of the pattern although it's still negative on the trading day today and we have the mini &E SP, which is flat for the day, just down one, two points, almost two points. And we have NASDAQ that turned negative right now, 27 points to the downside. Uh, continuing, and, and by the way, Anne Marie, I don't know if you're still here. Uh, see the void that got filled into the 10 EMA right here. So I could possibly see a, a correction happen into the 1890 here. Here we are back into the 800. Okay. If you look for, uh, if you're going to be looking uh, in the afternoon trading session after lunch, okay, after lunch, um, then um, look for higher time frames to be in sync, obviously, with the one hour or so. I want to take a quick peek on the four hour here. Yeah, so the four hour is going to need. Uh, the four hour is going to need, uh, wow, it's going to be need 86, 886. And the one hour is going to need uh, 838 to 840. I don't know if we're going to set up for anything this afternoon. Okay. Let's go back to the 15 minute charts and I'm going to plot some strategies. And the only strategies that I'm going to plot is for the Dow and Russell being strong. Okay. So these are the only two options. Okay. So basically, if we get a pullback into the 1500 to 1497 or so and a pivoting around this area, this can uh, potentially rotate and go back up into resistance. Um, and that would be the best candidate. Uh, as far as the Dow, we have a low, we have a swing high here. Uh, any kind of correction based on a five minute can be very aggressive uh, and then uh, roll it in on the 15 and then um, possibly 30 minutes or so. Look to see if this pivot is going to hold because this pivot has held here for, uh, you know, since the open. So the 800, 26800 is the catalyst. If 26800 is going to, if the price is going to coil around it, then it's going to work out. If it's not going to coil around it, then it's not going to work out. Okay. All righty. Okay. This is it for today, guys. Any questions? Any questions? It was a very hard day. It was a very hard day. If we didn't take the first trade, I would have shut down the trading room because there was nothing to trade. Nothing to trade. Very choppy, very messy. You had to be in Russell, you know, right off the open. And uh, we got that heavy divergency into the open that I really didn't like. I really didn't like. All right. Um. Yeah, Dan. Yeah, sure. Uh, send me an email. Okay. I think that the platform link is also in our performance portfolio. So if you, yeah, it's there. So you could go right there and download it. Mm hmm. And it's not a bad day today, not a bad day, because we have the second trade that we trailed out. We made 25 points from that uh, uh, 26,775 area, 
we got out at 800. And remember that our first entry was 790, so we made 10 points on that as well. Okay, so we made 10 points on that. So we made the 125 per contract, uh, the last stat from 775, and then we made uh, 50 bucks that those 10 points uh, there. So it was not bad. That's 175. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. All right, guys, it was not a bad day overall. Uh, we came back and recuperated some of the losses, which was which were definitely fantastic. We fought back. Uh, but right now you have to wait until, you know, the market just clears out a little bit and then, uh, you know, get back in. Uh, I, the way I see it, so if I see something, I'm going to let you guys know on the private feed. So far, I wouldn't want to be in any trades right now. Not to the short side and not to the long side. It's very choppy. We're having this relative strength in Russell and then we're having NASDAQ that is just uh, pulling back massively. Uh, one thing though, I think that if, uh, and this is just, you know, an idea here, if uh, YM is going to break 700, it's going to have a void from 700 uh, to 600 almost, but it, it's six, 650 and then 600, 650 and then 600. So watch that downside below 700, but watch for a lot of confirmation below 700. So you have a tradable void uh, from 700 to 600. Uh, Vincent, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so that, that's what I'm saying. So we fought back, guys. <laughs> we fought back. We recuperated some. Um, I would say more than half, right? More than half. We made more than half than what we lost in the first uh, on the first trade, which we it could have been a really nice follow through. But you can see that today we didn't have any kind of follow through. Uh, Vincent, um, uh, you have it in your welcome email. You have it. You have to follow it. You you have it in your welcome email. Yeah. I know there's a lot of information in the welcome email, but please read it carefully and it's in there. And if you, if you don't have it, if you deleted it or something, I'll just send you another copy. So just, uh, just let me know. No problemo. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great rest of the day and I'll see you tomorrow. Last trade of the uh, last day of the week for trading. Okay. <laughs> Have a great rest of the day, guys. Bye.